Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore 1.8. I'm of course William Strife and this is Minecraft Hardcore 1.8. Like I said, if I die, it's all over. The world gets deleted, all of that uh, horrifying yet incredibly motivating stuff at the same time. Gotta be good at the game, you know? Uh, so here I am inside of the armory, the coat of arms, as I call it. Um, you know, a kind of an opulent little shop for um, armor and whatnot. All of the uh, equipment on the walls and armor on the stands have uh, arrows in the chests as well. We equip those torches. So uh, after this was all done, um, I was kind of at a loss for what to do for this upcoming week. And uh, I got some good uh, suggestions from you guys. But uh, first of all, I'll cover the fact that I am using Dandelion a, uh, for a texture pack this week. If this is the first episode you're turn tuning in, I change texture packs every week based on community suggestions. Uh, Reply to my comment below and um, reply to my comment below to suggest texture packs and upvote the good ideas that you like. Uh, the most upvoted ones are what I choose. So, uh, Dandelion is a lot of fun. Uh, there were a lot of votes for uh, Sortex Fanver, but um, I used an offshot of Sortex already previously in the series, so I skipped over Sortex in favor of something that I haven't used or touched at all in any essence yet, which is Dandelion, and I quite like it. It's um. It's a very stripped down type of texture pack, very simplistic. Not, um, I think it's the same resolution as uh, the standard Minecraft textures as well, 16 by 16. Anyways, um, this was uh, what I built last time and you guys had uh, some reasonable suggestions for what I should build this time, but there was one thing that I've been wanting to build that I've gotten suggestions here and there for on a regular basis, and that is a church or Actually, with how large this is going to be, I suppose it's going to end up being a cathedral. I already took the time to do some terraforming, uh, chop some trees down, and plan out the, um, just basically make it very, very clear uh, where the walls and everything are going to be, put the guidelines in, because um, this is a, this is a big project, and, you know, if I, uh, if I hadn't laid down um, guidelines first, there was no way that I would end up getting this done in any uh, reasonable amount of time, so. Um, I have big, big plans. As you can see, I've already got the pan patented um, torch counting system down, you know, five torches and you keep alternating between two lanes. Um, also had to cut into the mountain back here. Uh, there was a relatively reasonable slope that came out to about right here that uh, I had to dig out. And uh, I do need to put a retention wall against all of this dirt back here, so um, that's something that I'll do. For the most part, I have been doing my best, my absolute best, not to... Um, do any terraforming when building in this series, which has been a significant challenge. Uh, primarily because um, I am so used to terraforming, but it's something worth uh, trying to do, you know, just basically get stuff down. That doesn't require you to reshape the land first. So, uh, you know, this is a thing, and I'm working on... Um, I've, I've made a whole lot of progress with working with the land instead of against it, even though I've done more terraforming on this side of the compound than over there. That being said, um, I think that I've done a fairly good job of, uh, you know, just kind of letting the ground sit the way it is, but ultimately with the size of this cathedral I had to make a choice of whether or not to um, build it the way that I uh, was imagining it would be built, or, you know, doing something different. So, ultimately I felt, you know, it's supposed to be a church or a cathedral for, uh, you know, uh, the church, uh, the church of strife, or maybe the maybe I'll call this the cathedral of strife. I'm not sure. Sure. After I actually finish, I'll figure it out. But um, whenever I got down to it, I, I thought, you know what? I really need to build this up in its uh, its big grand form. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. But I had to do some calculations before um, actually sitting down. And this structure is a just about going to break the bank. Um, I had to actually go searching for more diorite to work on this. Um, I also am almost out of nether bricks, um, which means that if I'm going to do more build projects, not many more of them, mind you, um, if I'm going to do more build projects, I'm going to have to go out to the nether and get my hands on some more nether rack to make some more nether brick. I've also got a lot of these uh, bricks made from clay that are just kind of sitting around. I've uh, got cobblestone on hand for uh, extra stuff, and actually I need to stash some of this glass, um, because I... What church is complete without stained glass, right? Um, also, I got some stuff over here, lots of stone, uh, andesite, and some polished granite and whatnot. So, uh, there's a lot of stuff to make here. So, uh, we'll go ahead and just jump right in, and um, let's see how this place looks when I'm done.
we guys talk about a lot of flipping work uh, more than like an hour and a half's work worth of the stuff, but here we go. It's finished. Well, um, at least as far as the outside of the construction, well, well uh, out, as far as the outside of the building is concerned. Oh, I forgot I killed like a, a zombie or a creeper out here. Uh, but as far as the outside of the building is concerned, I'm done. Uh, you know, the support struts are in place, the, uh, the walls are done, the stained glass is in. Uh, just... Uh, it's great. I absolutely love the way that it looks. Granted, it is a bit on the square side, um, and for that matter, the front of the building isn't too terribly three-dimensional. Um, I may come in here and put an extra layer of diorite around the outside like that, just to, uh, just to give it a little bit more depth. Not entirely certain that this is working, but, uh, there you go. That, I mean, it's there. It is. There, it is what it is. So, um, now, it's time to get into interior decorating. So, uh, first things first, I need to sort out a floor. So, I'm thinking that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a whole bunch of cobblestone and fill in the front there, and then, um, well, andesite, diorite, all that good stuff. So, uh, let me just go ahead and grab the supplies first. Alright, I have my supplies, and uh, to start things off, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some dark oak wood doors up at the front. And as you can see, I put them in kind of uh, the backwards way, so they're inside of this, they're not flush with the outside, and that's, uh, that is intentional. Some of you may, uh, you know, flip out because of that, but trust me, I have a plan. Um, so, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this andesite, and um, I'm gonna start edging the room with it, so... Go ahead and put it around like this. As you all know, I am a big, big fan of the whole concept of, you know, doing these, uh, these big, nice-looking, uh, floor patterns. It's just one of my, uh, I guess you could say it's kind of like an Achilles heel. I can't help myself as soon as it comes to this stuff. So, um, obviously any sort of a church or house of worship usually needs a stage because that's where, um, the preacher or, you know, the minister rabbi, whoever, uh, I'm not an inherently religious person, I don't, uh, know much about, <clears throat> uh, the way that anything outside of a Protestant church looks like. Uh, I've never really been inside of anything like a synagogue or a temple, uh, myself, so, and, uh, you know, that's just, that, that's just part of my life experience. So, um, anyways, uh, yeah, 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 okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not messing this up. I'll go ahead and keep laying down the cobblestone to cover all of this. Okay, and then I can come through and um, put more andesite around the edges, like so. I'll leave a little gap right here for uh, the path, which is going to lead up to the main uh, stage. And uh, I'll actually get on that right now. I'll take some of this polished granite and uh, I'll put the main path in. Whoops. Got a lot of torches in here that I'm gonna have to rip up, but um, I'm just trying to put in enough floor before I put in the uh, permanent lighting, so. Don't know if um, the stage is gonna stop there, but we'll see in a minute. Go ahead and take out some of these torches. Uh, I had a couple of creepers spawn in here whenever I was building, which uh, quite surprised me. I thought that it was well, lit well enough lit up for that not to be a problem, but learn something new every day, right? Go ahead, come around here like this. Do. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Sounds like we got a couple of dead ones outside. Not exactly the best. I'll have to go outside and sort them out soon. Okay, so uh, with that done, I'll go ahead and come across here, like so. That's the uh, stage. Gonna need some more of this polished andesite. Now, um, blocks of redstone are a little bit on the not red side in this particular texture pack, but um, I'll have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice big strife symbol right down in the middle of the stage, and uh, then I'll come back and grab the polished andesite, or I'm sorry, polished, polished granite, and uh, finish off the stage this way. I know it looks a little bit on the garish side, but um, it'll, uh, it'll work just fine. Now, it's time to put the rest of the floor in, and for the rest of the floor, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna do straight up stone slabs. I don't know if this is gonna be enough, but um, that's not all. I'm also going to need some uh, 
stairs to put what are basically pews in. You know, the seating that, uh, well, the, if you've ever been to a church, you know, the god-awful, horrible seating that um, exists in these places, that it's just, you know, you sit down and it makes your butt hurt and stuff like that. So um, first I'm going to come across and put some uh, half slabs across like so to kind of uh, put a border on the stage so nobody can just jump right up on this. And um, then I got to figure out where on earth I'm going to put these uh, these seats. So let's... Uh, I'm thinking one, two, three from the front is probably good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and line that right there. And then every other row, I'm going to put some cobblestone down. There's no need for me to use... There's no need for me to use fancy stone because um, it's uh, it, it it just won't turn out all that well. Uh, well, it's gonna it's gonna end up hidden. That's pretty much what it comes down to. The fancy stone will end up hidden, so there's no need for me to use anything special. Although I did just run out of cobblestone. Um, I'll go get some more. Okay, so I've got all the cobblestone down. Now the next step is simply to just uh, put all of these half slabs in for... Oh, man. Ugh, I have this OCD. I cannot... I cannot let it go. I can't just put a slab in the top half. I have to put it in both. Um, I can't live with myself otherwise. You know, it's one of those situations where, you know, the argument is made. Well, what does it matter? Who would know? Pretty simple. I would know. I would know, and that's all that really matters. And I can't, uh, I can't let it go. Anyways, um, we'll go ahead and put the rest of this stuff in. We'll leave a bit of a space at the back behind the, most of the pe uh, but at the back of the room. Uh, so there aren't pews all the way to the very, very back. And go ahead and fill the rest of these gaps in. Then we'll put the stairs in, and into something else that I'm really going to need to put in is, uh, some proper lighting. There we go, all of the seats are in. Um... Do I have any? Yes, I do have some stone brick stairs on me, so I'll go ahead and sort out the, um, the way to get up to the stage, like so. Uh, I'll also take some of the leftover, uh, planks that I have on me, and just put some wood across there. And, uh, like normal with any given church, or at least all of the churches that I've ever been in, there's always a little stand off to the side with the stage. Um, sometimes it's on the right, sometimes it's on the left. Uh, where the uh, the choir sits for, you know, like, gospel music and whatnot, uh, or at least you know, that's my experience. I haven't been to um, a church in a long time, uh, married to my work these days, you know? I mean, it's, uh, solutions are the beginning and end of my life. Uh, something else, uh, what was it? Oh, that's right, uh, I need to get the lighting sorted out, but uh, in order to do that, I'm gonna need to put some fencing together. Hopefully 15 will be more than enough. Quit my sand. And um, now it's time to put in some hanging lights from these rafters that I put in. So I think the way that it's going to work is um, I'm going to hang them more towards the center. Right here. So I'll go ahead and nerd pull up. And I'll put the fencing on there. And... Right there, I think. I hope that I got the alignment right on this. Then I'll go down two. Put two more fences down. I don't quite remember. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be about right. So uh, the next step is to take some blocks of redstone and attach them. Like so. And then swap that out for the redstone lamps and attach them, and uh, bingo, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and uh, you got hanging lights. Now all I have to do is repeat that, except here on the outside uh, rafter, I want to attach it to directly below that uh, strut that's hanging from the beam. So I'll go ahead and take the sand back. All right, and there we go. The hanging lights are all in place. And actually, now that I look at them, it kind of feels like they're a little bit on the low side. But um, the next step that I need to take care of is uh, putting some proper ground light in, because um, this isn't quite lit up enough, and um, I need to do a little bit more work. I might raise these, actually. Uh, these, are, these are feeling a little bit low. Anyways, um, I've got some redstone torches 
So I'll go ahead and pop those down in these holes on the left and right and put lamps on top of them. Go ahead and remove the torches now. And then I'll come back to, uh... Oh... I don't think that I need anything right there and there, but I will come back to this corner right here and do the same thing. Redstone torch followed by a lamp on top. And the other corner, like so. There we go. So, lamps are in place. Now it's time to uh, flesh out the stage just a slight bit more. And um, I'll go ahead and remove these torches because um, if something's gonna spawn, I gotta find out sooner or later, and these torches are not staying. They're, um, they're ugly, they mar the uh, expensive decor of this wondrous cathedral. Go ahead and get the last of these. Also kind of makes it a little bit on the uh, on the ambient side whenever I take them out, so uh, not bad. Okay, surround the redstone in wood and we get a bunch of note blocks. So uh, something else that you frequently find inside of churches are, uh, you know, a piano. It's not remarkably uncommon, so I'll go ahead and just put those in and... Aha! I just realized what I forgot. So I'll go ahead and take these down, as they make a, na uh, a nice little note every single time I smack them. And I'll take out the andesite. I want this to sound like a piano, a piano specifically. So I'll go ahead and put down some dirt, because um, the sound of note blocks changes based on what you put it on top of. So. Um, if I go ahead and swap out some spruce here, I'll go ahead and just show you very quickly. So we've got sand, we've got wood, and I'll go ahead and just put these down. If I left click, sounds like an organ or a grand piano maybe. That's a snare drum obviously, you put it down on stone of any type, and you get like a bass drum, and then you put the, and then you put it down on dirt and you get, you get a piano. So. Uh, there's that. If you, you know, if you didn't know, you do now, so... Massively awesome stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the rest of these in. And, um, you, whenever you right-click these, you can change the note. And then you can just left-click them to, uh, make them repeat, uh, repeatedly play the same note. Waha! Now, uh, now we've got a makeshift piano over in the corner here. Uh, don't know whether or not I'm qualified to play it, though. <laughs> Now, um, there's no, uh, like, lectern or, um, stand for the, uh, preacher or, uh, you know, whoever it is that's going to be in, well, actually, pfft, who's gonna be preaching in the House of Strife? It's me, of course, it's just gonna be me. Um, so, with all of that done, uh, I'm gonna need to put some... Well, actually, I'll go ahead and sort this out right now. Um, I'm gonna remove the materials right here, and I'm just gonna put in slabs as an alternative, and I'm gonna need to line this with redstone for uh, the typical effect, but that's more or less it. Uh, there's uh, one or two more things that I could do, though, to kind of brighten the place up. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna need four more redstone torches, and uh, I'm gonna make myself a set of nether brick stairs. 16 should be more than enough. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab the redstone torches here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hop outside. Or, no, not hop outside. What I want to do is kind of light up this front uh, stained glass window so that it more or less glows in the night, but putting torches on the sides next to it kind of mars the inner view. Um, so I'm gonna do something that might actually be debatably more ugly, but um, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll go ahead and put some redstone torches there and there, then I'll put some redstone lamps on either side, like so. There we go. I'll also take uh, a little bit of nether brick and um, put it along the outside of this thing right there, like so, just to uh, just to create a bit more of an illusion of depth um, that, um, well, not really an illusion of the depth, to actually give it outright more depth to, you know, make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, I might come along the top here and... Oh, oh, Not sure if that's really working all that well, but um, nonetheless, there it is. And um, this, my friends, is House Strife. Oh, I almost forgot. There's one final detail to the inside of this place that I need. How many rows of pews do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and uh, now we've got a whole bunch of signs, so I can go ahead and um, just 
put these along the edges of the stairs, just to place them down and then uh, click away to not put anything on them, and um, we've basically got armrests for the pews, you know, these terrible, hard, wooden things. I remember being in church whenever I was a kid, and these things always hurt my butt. They always hurt my butt something serious. It was like, why would you ever use these things for a, a way to, like, sit? It's so uncomfortable. So, okay, there's uh, one row done. We'll go ahead and get the other row done now. Okay, and there we go. All of the uh, armrests are in place, or, well, I say armrest, but they're really just signs. Now, to put in the sign on, on the front so everybody knows what type of a uh, cathedral or church this is. So, we're going to go ahead and put the name in. There we go, Cathedral of Strife. Solutions, even in your darkest hour. So there we go, we have the Cathedral of Strife, a place where you can get solutions, even whenever you think all is um, completely lost. Uh, I might, you know, this is uh, kind of like a fine print thing. I might want to come in here and um, just put a sign above on, on the back wall here. Uh, solutions only gifted upon minimum donation. Cathedral Strife is not responsible for side effects of Gifted Solutions. So, um, you know, a fine print thing, and uh, for that matter, I might want to come back out front. Um, I'll go ahead and knock this off and rewrite it. So, uh, there, we get a we get a nice asterisk in there next to uh, the, the, uh, the subtitle of uh, the place, and we can see that... Um, Solutions gifted only upon minimum donation, and the Cathedral of Strife is not responsible for side effects of gifted solutions. So, you know, should anything go wrong, hey, um, hey, we tried to help, but uh, it's all in your hands now, okay? Uh, really, I mean, it's just a tax dodge, um, you know, it's it's a religion, so the government won't come after me whenever I ask for the money, and, um, you know, untaxable, and, um, that's pretty much what it comes down to. It's, it's a bit of a sham, but shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, so yeah, there we go guys. This has uh, this has been another episode of Minecraft Hardcore 1.8 with me William Strife And this is the Cathedral of Strife and I am I'm really really Like the front of the building is a little bit on the uh, flat side, but I really like the way that this place turned out uh, Thanks for watching and um, be certain to suggest texture packs below and uh, Also other build projects because I've only got a little bit more before this uh, series is over and a very very small number of episodes are left I already have a plan for whenever I'm gonna head out to the end and uh, for that matter I've been hunting Enderman in the background and I only need a few more pearls. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye